P0562 code. That's system voltage low. Basically, your car's computer is saying, hey, the voltage in the electrical system is dropping below what I need to run everything. Sometimes it's a battery problem. Sometimes it's charging. Sometimes it's wiring. And if you ignore it long enough, your car might just shut off while you're driving. Step one, grab a multimeter and check the battery. Engine off. You want around 12.6 volts on a healthy, fully charged battery. If you're down in the 11s, the battery's weak. Charge it and retest. If it won't hold a charge, replace it before chasing anything else. Step two, check charging voltage with the engine running. You should see roughly 13.5 to 14.8 volts. Below that, the alternator might not be charging enough. Above that could be a voltage regulator issue. If you've got a scan tool, you can watch system voltage live and see if it's steady or dipping under load. Special scenario, jump starts but dies in gear. If you jump the car, it fires up fine, but then dies the moment you shift into gear. That's a classic sign that the battery's dead and the alternator isn't keeping the system alive. The jump gives you just enough juice to get running, but once you put it in gear, the extra electrical load drops voltage so low the PCM shuts down. That's almost always a charging system problem. Test the alternator and belt before anything else. Step 3. Load test. Turn on headlights, blow a fan, rear defroster, see if voltage holds up. If it tanks, the alternator's struggling or the belt's slipping. Step 4. Inspect the wiring. Check the battery terminals for corrosion. Green fuzz or white powder is bad news. Make sure the main battery ground to the chassis and the alternator ground to the engine are clean and tight. Look for cracked, burned or loose wires in the charging circuit. Step 5. Check the belt. A loose or glazed serpentine belt can keep the alternator from spinning fast enough under load. It's cheap to fix and an easy win if it's the problem. Step 6. Think about the conditions. Did this code pop up after a jump start, after replacing the battery, or only on cold mornings? Sometimes it's just a temporary drop that triggered the code, but if it keeps coming back, you've got a real charging issue. Step 7. Rare cases. If the battery and alternator both test good and wiring checks out, the PCM could be reading voltage wrong. Not common, but worth checking after you've covered all the basics. My order for P0562, test battery voltage, engine off, test charging voltage, engine on. Look for the dies in gear after jump symptom, test alternator right away. Load test the system, inspect terminals, grounds and wiring, check belt condition and tension. Only then think alternator or PCM. Most of the time, this is a weak battery, a tired alternator or a bad connection. Fix it early and you'll avoid the dead car in the grocery store parking lot situation. If this helped, drop a like, subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.